Okay guys, I'm going to do a video here on uh, the Amazon Fire TV stick. Here it is in the box that you or I or anybody else can walk into Best Buy and buy for 40 bucks. Okay, it is totally geared for the Amazon store for you to purchase their movies and music and TV shows and so forth. Um, it comes with a nice remote. You can get a picture of it there. Okay, I'm going to show you on the tube what it looks like out of the box. This is what you get when you bring it home and plug it into your TV. It goes into your HDMI port. And this is all you get is movies and television shows that you can uh, rent or buy. Well, that one is 99 cents. What is it? The Spectacular Now for an hour and a half. You can rent it for a buck or buy it for eight bucks. And you can do the same thing in the Amazon with uh, movies. You can buy them or rent them. Music, same way. Where's music? I know it's here somewhere. But anyway, I spend about an hour, hour and a half on each one of... Uh, these sticks putting software on there so that you get an interface that you see right now a guided user interface and uh, the main reason for doing that is so that you can stream by way of Kodi formerly called XBMC let's take a look at it remember streaming is perfectly legal there's nothing nefarious about it you're not downloading anything so we go into, and this is a rather famous uh, uh, app on the Kodi application called Genesis. Genesis is like Netflix on steroids. You have movies that can be streamed, television stro shows, channels. You can have your favorites. Let's look, take a look at the latest movies available on the Genesis application. Ah, here we are. Taken in by Genra. Here we are. And these are all recent movies. Let's click on one Terminator Genesis. And then of course it, what it does is it takes you to various links. Some of them are high def. A lot of them are high def. Some are medium definition. There's some that are even low definition. It takes you to the various links of where you can stream it live and watch it. And again, it's jo not just movies. It's television shows. Uh, there's even some live TV on here. I put applications on here for the live TV and it's very very cool to say the least and it's loading all the links and here's some of them are even 1080p Terminator and 1080p let's see how quick it fires up here not all links are good links. 90% of the links are good, but, you know, links come and links go. That's just the name of the game. For the price you pay, it's worth it. <laughs> and that one doesn't want to seem to fire up. Let's try an HD one. Maybe it is firing up. Well, let me switch yet. See if it's coming in or not here. Okay, that one didn't fire up, which isn't unusual. Yiffy's a pretty good one. Let's try Yiffy in uh, HD. That's a good server.
Anyway, that looks pretty good. You can go on and on. Let's go back. That'll keep playing in the background while we mess around here. What else have we got besides movies on this Genesis application? TV shows. Let's take a quick look at the TV shows you can watch. Let's see what the most popular TV shows are. Doctor Who, Arrow. These are all programs you can watch and stream free. Okay. Let's get out of this Genesis application and let's Before look at uh, some of the other add-ons here. Let me go up here and shut that off. Uh, we've got Stream All Sources, a very good program, also geared mostly for uh, TV shows, but it also has movies. Again, these are all applications that come on the stick that I put on there. Something about one channel having issues with the end, blah blah blah. These things self-correct. Continuing intent the message is only shown when one channel uh, first installed. First time I fired it up on uh, this particular stick, this one channel. And they give you this baloney to read, which nobody cares about. Okay, there's one channel again. Movies, TV shows, playlists, and so forth. That's uh, one channel's been around forever. It's a good app. So is Ice Films. These are your top dogs here. Genesis, one channel, and Ice Films. Phoenix is great if you're kind of a news hound. Uh, let's see. Let's go into Phoenix TV. Let's look for some. Let's look for some streaming uh, news. Sky News is pretty good. Now this is live TV as opposed to movies. Where's our sound? Sound, sound, sound. It's HD too, so that's good. the sound is on that app. Let's try CNN. Oop, we gotta press the right button here. Let's see if CNN's coming in. A road to running for office. Sometimes it'll buffer on you a little bit. I'm going to try to cross the Saudi borders. I'm driving a car that I own, and I have a UAE driving license. This is Luke. So there's CNN. You can cut your cable bill with this once you get good at it and proficient. You can even download more apps for your XBMC. Uh, what have I got on here? I've got Channel Pair. That's very good for streaming TV. Dexter is top dog for streaming. T I really like Gorilla Streams as well for live TV. Because to drive a CNN always works. Gorilla. See, I like CNN and, and in the conservative Fox kingdom News is a tough drive. stream to find. It usually works on the Gorilla. It has been messed up here for the last couple of days. I've noticed that. I don't know what's going on with it. They'll fix it because it's a small application. So, and I like it when they have a small database. They have a tendency to keep up with it. Now, here's probably uh, one of the most famous apps. It's called NaviX, and it's been around for since the uh, onset of XBMC. You go to live streaming channels here. You've got music channels, TV channels from all over the world. And it also has movies, Avengers Age of Ultron. Let's see what that's all about. 
says it's loading. Let's hope the server is good. Most of them are, not all of them. 720p is pretty good. And you can go on and on. You can just browse this thing for hours and hours. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you're interested in one, I'm selling them for 80 bucks. Like I say, I spend the uh, 60 to 90 minutes tweaking these things out because what you get out of the store is uh, pretty much nothing. <laughs> Again, that is what you get out of the store. This is your interface. And here's what it's done. When I'm done with it, it looks like this. So if you're interested, let me know. Thanks.